You try to go on dates and both of you are like, where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Stop that. We're going to talk about how to fix that, how to change that up, and how to get the best dates you can have, part of the best relationships you can have. So stay tuned if you want to hear about that. All right? Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? So welcome back to the channel. Here at Superhuman Revolution, we try to give you the best information and advice, how to be the best version of yourself. You can be the best superhuman you can be while living on this earth to the best of your ability. So if you like that, that sounds good to you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Without further ado, let's get into that video about the relationships. Okay, the first thing about going out is we're always like, we never know where to go. We know it's always uh, where do we go? I don't know. Where do you want to go? And we never, we're, you know, just spend up driving 30 minutes around town not knowing where to go. Now, whether it's going to go eat or whether it's going to go um, hiking or whatever it is, uh, you just got to learn from each other. And the more you spend the time with your significant other, the more you learn about them, right? That's just, that's just how it is. But I challenge you to do this. Why are you getting to know somebody? Learn, uh, okay, this person likes to go eat here. This person likes to go eat there. This person's favorite food is this, this, and this. Um, they really like to go hiking or whatever it is, right? So let's say um, you're taking this girl out, whatever it is. And you're like, okay, she likes Mexican food. And uh, she really likes seafood. Um, let me see. Um, okay, we're supposed to go out Friday night. And um, let me see, where are we going to go? Um, uh, uh, I'm going to take her to that Midisco's place on the corner. They just opened up. It should be good. I heard the reviews were good. Uh, let's go over there, right? Perfect. Problem solved. Boom. Friday night on lock. Okay, let's say uh, next month, girls, maybe you're dating this guy, you just started talking to this guy and he likes to go hiking a lot. He likes to, you know, adventure and, and go out and stuff like that. Um, maybe take him to the nearest national park or uh, nearest indoor hiking place. Um, in my town, there's a couple of both of those. And so, I mean, just be spontaneous and learn from each other and see what people like, what the significant other likes. Um, the biggest thing, we just want to impose um, what we want. We want to, we don't want to seem selfish because a lot of us, you know, it's like, well, easily, boom, I want to go that restaurant, but man, I don't want to seem selfish. I want him or her to want to do something too. I, I don't want to just be me who's enjoying the time, right? And I think that's a lot of us that we're afraid of imposing our will, imposing what we want to do. We don't want to seem selfish. But in the fact of the matter is the other, pro the other person is probably just wanting you to just choose something for them. And especially a lot of girls just want their guy to just take the reins and, and just make a decision. Because a lot of times us guys, we're just undecisive. And guys, a lot of guys complain that girls are indecisive. It works both ways, people. It works both ways. Guys, we're undecisive a lot of times. Time to make the decision, put a foot down and say, hey, Friday night, I'm taking you out. We're going here. That's it. And the girl's probably like, oh my gosh, he finally made a decision. Huh, huh, huh. Okay, now, so you guys are on the date now. Everything's set up. You guys are there. You guys are at the restaurant, whatever it is. Now, first and foremost, I'm not saying that girls are incapable of this. Girls are independent. You're 100%. You're strong. You can do whatever you want by yourself. You don't need no man to do it. But... I still think um, that a guy should be able, should want to do this. I think a guy should be the one to open the door for the girl, open the car door, whatever it is, because it's not that we think you're incapable of doing it. In my opinion, in my mind, how I was raised, it is because I'm doing it out of respect for you. You do so much for me. I want to do this little thing, this little act of love to do it for you. I want to just make this tiny little thing easier for you. That's how I see it, and that's how most guys should see it. That's how you girls should see it. That's why I'm opening a door for you because, like I said, it's out of love, out of respect because all the things that you girls do for us, let me just do this one small thing for you. Let me just open this door, and it's not saying that you're incapable of doing it. It's just because, hey, thank you for everything you do. Let me open this door for you. That's it. Now, let's say you're going to a restaurant, and nowadays most restaurants have TVs everywhere, right? They're playing the game. They're playing um, news sometimes. They're playing random stuff, whatever it is. Guys, when you guys go there, it's usually a problem with guys, not with girls. Uh, but, guys, when you go into the restaurant, specifically restaurants, take a seat with your with your face facing the wall, with your back facing the TV, okay? What that's going to do for you is immediately you're not going to be tempted to be looking at the TV. If your face is facing the TV, you're going to be there the whole time like this, or like this, or like this, and your date is right here, and you're not paying attention to that date. No matter what event is going on, most guys were just like, Oh, talking to you, talking to you, talking to you, talking to you. Mm, What's that on the TV? Mm. Get rid of the temptation. Back away from the TV. Like that. Focus on the date, okay? There. Okay, so now you guys are sitting down. You're enjoying the time. You're, you just ordered your food and your drinks, whatever it is. Take the phones out. 
snap a couple pictures with each other, you know, snap a picture of your food, snap a picture of the menu, whatever it is, that put them away, okay? Get the phones out of there. Too many times I've seen couples, you know, texting, it's like, are they texting each other? What's, what's going on here, right? I don't, I, I don't understand it. Now, whether this is what's going on in your mind or not, you're giving off that vibe. If you're on your phone, you're giving off the vibe of the person that you have a better place to be. That your attention is better served on your phone at that moment, whatever it is. If it's your mom or your dad saying, where are you? Or your brother, or your sister, whatever it is, something urgent, say, hey, my so-and-so is texting me. Let me just respond to them real quick. I'm sorry about this. Communicate and be respectful. Now, maybe your date is just really weird or they're, they're just really shy or whatever it is. And you're like, man, this is, this is going bad. I got to text the BFF. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> be mindful that this other person has feelings. They might not know that they're being weird or you know, they're not communicating enough or they're not perfect for you respectful and communicate say hey are you okay is everything going okay or or say hey um i don't think this date's going on i don't think this date's you know going well uh i think i'm just gonna leave or whatever it is just be respectful communicate get off the phone okay so now it's time to pay and leave now whether you're going out to eat or you're going on to that hiking trip uh or whatever it is i mean the hiking trip you're gonna pay before but you know what i mean uh, if you're entering into a park but if it's time to pay. So traditionally, it's always been the guy pays for everything. And that's all we've heard. It's all a lot of guys are raised that way that the guy has to pay for everything. Now, nowadays, it's different. Now, a lot of guys are cheap. Maybe they're like, well, I'm not gonna pay for that or whatever it is. And this is how I see it. If a guy is the one who asks out the person, the person who is doing the asking out, the person who's making the invitation for the date should be the one to pay. That's how I see it. Now, further on to the relationship, you guys are um, going steady, as they used to call it. Um, you guys are going steady, but dating for a couple months, and you're just doing more casual dating. You know, it's like, hey, you want to just uh, let's go out for dinner next week or whatever. It's not as a big deal, you know, like, oh, hey, um, um, you want to go to date? Sure. Like, it's, it's, it's different, right? When you're going on your seventh, hundredth date or whatever it is, it's different. But so in my mind, how I see it, traditionally, it should be the person who is making the initial couple of uh, invitations for that date should be the one to pay. But after that, after that fact, it's kind of up in the air. It's kind of whoever wants to pay. Now, guys specifically, we get so prideful that we want, we don't want to admit that we need help for paying the check. We don't want to admit that, hey, I need some help on this check. Uh, I'm a college student, and I'm, I'm hoping maybe some of you, my key demographic, are other college students as well, maybe high school students either. Uh, but as a college student, no matter what your situation is, usually it's kind of hard to pay for every single dinner you're going on dates, right? And it's okay to admit to the person you're with, just say, hey, I need some, do you, do you mind splitting the check? Or say beforehand, because let's say if a, if a girl or a guy that you're going out with before the date starts, say, hey, oh, hey, how about this place? Okay, that's great. Um, it's kind of awkward to ask, but do you think we can split the check? I'm kind of short on cash this month. Now, either the person will say, uh, no, bye. I'm not going to have this date with you. Or hopefully the right person for you or a respectable person or respectful person for you is gonna say, hey, that's a good consideration. Let's save money, let's split the bill. I can do that. That is gonna be a good date right there. Again, communicate and be respectful. Don't be afraid to ask to split it. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. No matter what situation your life is, no matter you're a college student, out of college, you're 45, 55, 75, whatever it is, don't be afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to ask for help. We all need help sometimes in our life, some more than others, and that's no problem. That's okay. Just don't be afraid to ask questions and to get help. And besides, the check should be the last thing you guys are worrying about. What you should be worrying about is spending the time together, learning about each other, and being in love or whatever it is, trying to meet the perfect person for you. That's what you should be focusing on, not the check. All right, so it's gonna wrap up the video today. I hope you guys learned something, enjoyed something. Let me know if you did or if you did not. Put your likes down here and your comments and all of that stuff. Please subscribe if you like to. Please share it if you want other people to see this advice. If it's useful to you or somebody else, please don't hesitate to share it, to spread the word, how to be the best version of yourself, the best superhuman you could be here at Superhuman Revolution. I hope you guys have a great day. Be the best version of yourself that you could be, the best superhuman that you could be. I hope you guys... Have an awesome day. See ya.